Hi everyone, it's Bonnie here, and today I'd like to share with you um, an altar clock that I made for my friend Rena, and she is Rena Myers here on YouTube. I'll put the link to her channel in the description box below. She's an amazing artist and creator, and she makes so many beautiful cards. Um, she just recently had a birthday. She turned 50, so I decided, you know, it's a milestone, um, and uh, wanted to create something, you know, special for her. So I altered this clock, which I got at the secondhand store. It's just a plain plastic um, clock. It's a good size clock as well. And what I did, I used the Ladies Diary to paper for this because um, she likes the Parisian themed. And, um, okay, so I started out um, gessoing the entire thing, and then I added some of this strips of the Parisian paper all over. And then um, after that, I added some handmade texture paint. And then used, um, I'll show you the stamp that I use. It's like one that I have laying around, and it's this one here. Okay, so I use my stays on ink um, so it wouldn't bleed or anything if I painted or got it wet or anything. So I just took that because it's so pliable, you know, I didn't add it to um, a block and just took it and stamped it all over, you know, like that. So then after that, I added this pretty trim that I had in my stash and then some of this beautiful, um, it's a, a very light, very pale peach um, flat back pearl. And then on the back is just, it's just plain. Okay, so then on the top, I didn't add any paper. I just used some of my Lindy Stamp Gang to get that color. And again, used my handmade texture paint and... Um, inked it all up and then up here I have some hand dyed seam binding a little flower sticking out here and then on the back is a uh, wild or orchid craft flower there and around the bells inside I added this um, pretty trim that I had here the white and I just added that all the way around the inside of the bells like that and you can see it sticking out there as well and then I have attached to the seam binding this little crown an Eiffel Tower and then strung some of this I believe probably I got it from Michaels it's um some pretty silver um, it came off of ne a necklace I believe so then I attached that to this little crown here um, and I texture pasted that a lot to really shab it up and then I had these little sprays in my um, stash also added some texture paint on that and then over here I have just some beautiful flowers I had in my stash I believe this is a recollections and this one here and this one here is by Prima and then I think the rest here are wild orchid crafts and then I put a loose pearl here and then just some little pink stamens I had in my stash and this chair is also by Prima and that beautiful I, th I thought that was very Victorian very chic very Parisian and then I have a couple of flowers here and those are from my friend Nikki thank you Nikki and here's Aww. another one and here's two more here and then on the top, it's hard to tell, but I have a metal key that I gessoed up and sprayed 
with some of my Lindy's. And I did the same t thing to this chair. I gessoed it up and then sprayed it with Lindy's and then covered it with some texture paint. So that's what I did here. And then I had this little piece of lace and I just tied a little bow and put it on the key. See, it's kind of a fancy little key. And then I have this little cabochon and I put that there. And then from the top of the key, I just hung this little floor de lis and this little key and then a little crown and I think this chain is also from the same necklace that I had there okay and then on this side I have a couple more flowers from Nikki and this resin piece I believe was like an old collection from Recollections and I jesseled it up and texture painted it and spritzed it with some Lindy's. And this is a, a Prima, or is it Petaloo? It's either Petaloo or Prima, these, this little um, butterfly here. And I have another one up here. This one I put some little teeny tiny pearls in the center, sorry about that. And this one I just kept playing. And then I, as you go down here, I have another beautiful Wild Orchid Craft rose. And here's another little rose here. This is um, a Recollections flower. I have some seam binding. And I have this beautiful key here that I use lots of texture paint on. And then hung this beautiful charm, which is an artichoke. And then went around the whole face of the clock with this beautiful trim here. And again with that flat back pearl. And then on the inside I have that beautiful trim that you get from the Hobby Lobby. And it's super, super soft. And it's got ruffle on both sides. So I just added that around the entire inside of it. And then there are flowers all over. And this is probably going to be very hard to um, tell the dimension of it. <clears throat> but I have like lots of layers that, that are coming out. I have this little bird from Prima. And that, that here is from D. And she is from Prima, another resin piece. And I just sprayed those. I made her yellow. And I made her like a peachy pink. And I have some wooden chipboard pieces here that I just painted it and spritzed and added texture paste or paint. And here's a little clock from Recollections. Um, and like I said, there's flowers all over. That's a Craft Supply 1 flower. Flower from Nikki. And this is Wild Orchid Crafts. These beautiful flowers here I just had in my stash and they just matched beautifully. So I added those and then there's a little um, doily behind there. And this is a, a resin flower and I have some little leaves. There's a metal piece behind there. So there's like three or four layers that come out to make it really dimensional. So then I have these, um, they're like... I don't know they're like little berry beads and I just added those sporadically inside there's another one over there okay and another one right there it's a craft supply one flower so yeah that is my clock I think I covered everything um, you can see more of the paper here and what I did was I ran it through um, one of my embossing um, folders and this this one had like um, Italy and you know clocks and it had all kinds of uh, different things on it so I wanted uh, uh, to keep it that Parisian theme so that's what the sides look like I think they came out really really pretty and then there's the other side. 
I just have a wild orchid craft a flower to help keep that resin piece on there and the majority of the adhesive I used on this because I know I get a lot of um, questions what kind of adhesive I use and um, this is I use Fabri-Tac on everything um, yep I use Fabri-Tac on everything um, if there was any metal to metal on there which I don't believe there there was I would use E6000 um, so yeah that is my creation for Rena happy 50th birthday Rena I hope you love your your gift that I made for you I had so much fun I really love altering these clocks so I hope you like it and I hope it matches your room in the Parisian theme um, I had a lot of fun like I said creating it for you and um, and this will get this again will be going out to you today so enjoy Thanks, everybody, for stopping by and watching. I really appreciate your time that you spend with me and your beautiful comments that you leave to me. And um, I'd also like to t take a minute to thank all of my new subbies um, that have joined my channel and enjoy, you know, watching what I show. So have a great day, everybody, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.